Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to discuss about the procedure for the design of lag lead compensator using root locus. So, what is mean by lag lead compensation? Here, this compensator has both lag performance as well as lead performance. Right, so the lag lead compensation is employed to improve both the transient and steady state response of the system. Okay, whenever we need improvement in both the steady state as well as in transient state, we are moving to lag lead compensation. Right, what is mean by transient response? Whenever the input gets varied continuously, then the respective output of the system is said to be transient output or transient response. Here, steady state response are those for a steady, for a given steady input, the respective output is known as steady state response. Right, so... The first thing is, first design a lead section to realize the required zeta and omega n for the dominant closed loop poles. Right. Regarding lag lead compensator, first we are going to design a lead section. Right. So, to the lead section we need zeta and omega n. So, after that we are going to find the error constant. Right. We are going to find the error constant of the lead section. Then the next thing is, if it is satisfactory, then only lead compensation will meet the requirement. That is, we are going to uh, evaluate the value of error constant, right? If the error constant meet the specification, then only lead compensation will meet the requirement. If the error constant has to be increased, okay, if the requirements are not satisfied, then we have to move to the designing of lag section, right? So now we are going to see the procedure. So the step one is you are going to find the dominant pole. It is denoted as SD. So this dominant pole is given by the formula minus zeta omega n plus or minus omega n into root of zeta square minus 1. So zeta is known as damping ratio and omega n is known as natural frequency of oscillation. Right and the units are radian per second. And step two it is a with well known step that is poles are marked as cross and zeros are marked as the small circle and dominant poles are denoted by using the letter P. Step 3 is finding the angle which is contributed by the dominant pole. Right. So pi is given by sum of angles contributed by poles of uncompensated system minus sum of angles contributed by zeros of uncompensated system plus or minus n into 180 degrees. Here n is a odd integer. Right. So pi is nothing but it is the angle contributed by the lead network to the dominant pole P. Right. So first we are going to calculate the angle contributed by poles and next angle contributed by zeros we are going to sum it and finally we are going to find the value of pi. Right. So n is an odd integer. So n into 180 degree is nearest to the difference between angles contributed by poles and zeros. That is, we are going to allocate values of n. Initially, we will start with n equal to 1. Right. So, that is the difference between angles contributed by the poles and zeros. Then the next one is step 4. Finding the pole and zero of lead section. So, here... The first step is we are going to mark our dominant pole P. Right. So to this dominant pole, we are going to draw the line from the origin. Right. First we have to connect a line from this origin to this point P. And again we have to draw a straight line which is parallel to our X axis. Right. So here we are going to measure the angle. The angle is A, P and O. That is the entire angle is measured here. And the next thing is. We are going to draw a bisector line for this angle. That is, for example, if this angle is some 30 degree, then APO by 2 will be 15 degrees, right? So, we are going to divide this angle into 2. So, here this is the bisector line and we are marking that line meets the x-axis and that is denoted as point C, right? So, here apart from that, we are going to mark an angle pi which we had find out in the previous step, right? So, 
For example, if the value of pi is some 10 degrees, we are going to mark, that is from this bisector line, we are going to mark an angle of 5 degree above and 5 degree below. So, here it is denoted as pi by 2, right? Each will be the angle contributed by this and this will be same, right? Because here if, the, if this is 5 degrees means then this is also will be 5 degrees. Both the angles are same here. And just we are going to mark the values, okay? These lines meet the x-axis at some points. So, here we are marking it as a pole and here we are marking it as a zero since we are designing a lead section, right? So, the value of pole is given as minus 1 by alpha t2 and here 0 is given as minus 1 by t2, right? So, from the location of the values of B and D, we are going to calculate the remaining things. So, you see B is the location of pole and D is the location of 0 and we are going to find the value of this t2 and alpha from the point of B and D. Right. So, the step 5 is finding the transfer function of lead section. So, the transfer function of lead section is given by s plus 1 by t2 divided by s plus 1 by alpha into t2. Right. And the step 6 is we are going to find the open loop gain k. So, open loop gain k is given by the formula product of vector lengths from all poles to dominant pole divided by product of vector lengths from all zeros to the dominant pole right here simply we will be measure the length of lines drawn from different poles and zeros to the dominant pole using a scale right that's it so finally we will we will be finding the value of k so open loop transfer function of lead compensator system is you see g of s is the given transfer function and g2 of s is it is the transfer function of the lead section you see here the transfer function of lead section is denoted as g2 of s right so this is the open loop transfer function of the lead compensator system right then the next thing is Find the velocity error constant of lead compensator system. Now we are going to check whether our design had met the required specifications. So what is the formula of velocity error constant? It is given by limit s tends to 0 s into the open loop transfer function of the uh, lead that is the total thing right. And here if k v2 satisfies the requirement then only lead compensation is sufficient right. But if kv2 is less than the desired value, then we are going to lack compensation. Can you get? Here, if kv2 satisfies the need, then we can no need to go for lag. If kv2 doesn't meet the specification, then there is a need to go for lag compensation. So, on step 8 is finding the parameter beta of lag section. Right. So, here... You see KVD is the, it is the desired value, okay, it is the needed value of the velocity error constant. So, here we are introducing a factor K. So, K is nothing but KVD divided by KV2, that is, this is the given value, okay, this is the desired specification and KV2 is the thing which we get from our design, right. So, we have, these two terms are related by the term A. So, the next thing is we are going to select beta in such a way that beta should be always greater than a. That is beta is equal to 1.1 to 1.2 times of a here. Right. Then step 9 is finding the transfer function of lag section. So choose the zero of lag section as 10 percentage of the second pole of the uncompensated system. So, 0 of lag section is given as 10 percentage, right? That is 10 by 100 is 0 0.1. So, 0 0.1 into second pole of G of S. That is second pole which we get from the transfer function. And again, the ZC1 is given by the formula minus 1 by T1. From this expression, we are calculating the value of T1, right? The next one is pole of lag section. So, pole of la lag section is given by this formula PC1 is equal to minus 1 by beta T1 and the transfer function of lag section is given by S plus 1 by T1 divided by S plus 1 by beta T1, right. 
and here the step 10 is finding the transfer function of lag lead compensator and the compensated system. So transfer function of lag lead compensator is given by G1 of S into G2 of S. So we are combining the transfer functions. So transfer function of compensator is a combination of transfer function of lead compensation with the transfer function of lag compensation. Okay, this is what we had written. And next one is we are representing it in the form of block diagram. So here again R of S let this is be your input and C of S be our output. Right. So we are introducing a compensator always in series with the uh, given transfer function. So this is the given transfer function and this is our compensator network. And we as we all know that the type of feedback is always unity feedback. Right. So the open loop transfer function of lag lead compensated system is given by just we are going to multiply these two blocks because these two blocks are in series right and here we are discussing about open loop transfer function so no need to go for the feedback right so open loop transfer function is just we have to simplify these two blocks that's it so we can multiply these two blocks as they are in series. So and finally step 11 is check the velocity error constant of the compensated system right again we are we are having the transfer function here. So formula for velocity constant is limit s tends to 0 s into this g naught of s. So we have to sub simplify substitute the values and finally we will be having a constant. So checking the velocity error constant of the compensated system if it is satisfactory then the design is accepted right. If it meets the specification, then the, then the design of compensator is okay. Otherwise, repeat the design by modifying the location of poles and zeros of the compensator. If that doesn't meet the specification, then we have to design how we are going to modify it. That is, we are going to modify, that is, we are going to interchange or modify the location of poles and zeros of the compensator. Right. So, here comes the end of the procedure while seeing the procedure you will think it is quite big but it but actually it is not right so whenever we solve problem you will get enough confidence for uh, solving these type of things so if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section thank you